So hi everybody, it's me Frederick here and I just wanted to make a note of what happened this morning because nothing seems to go as planned, does it? In this world we live in, there's always going to be things, things that happen to us that throw us off and right now my voice is a little bit raw. Hey, check out the ducks down here. See them down there? Hey ducks, how you doing ducks? God loves you. So anyways, what happened this morning was I came in to go see my homeless friend named Dan and his buddy Mike and I brought some sandwiches and stuff for them this morning. And I showed up but nobody was there. So the interesting thing is I'm sitting there going, okay, talking to the big guy upstairs going, what do I do now? I have all this food that I made. I, we did some baking, made some sandwiches. And the thing is, nobody was there. So I went and looked at some t-shirts and some hats that I can get printed for Rua Nation. And this is uh, Rua Breath of Life YouTube channel. It's Frederick Munowich, that's me. And I'm doing different things and putting my life online and uh, that includes real people, real stories. It's a playlist that I started where I interview people and I find out what's going on in their we life. We had to pause for station identification which means we had to change the batteries. But essentially I came downtown and uh, city park and just started driving around and anyways the long story short is I ended up meeting a guy named Jamie and a guy named Donnie, a guy named Stevie, a guy named Frankie, and Wanda. And what I was able to do was make a connection. And I handed out some sandwiches, some juice boxes, orange juice, apple juice, and you know, I got to sit down and talk to them and find out what's going on in life. Everyone's got a story, you know? People hurt, people have pain. They do different things to, solve that pain, they medicate, you know, I was a guy who medicated, but everything that we do is just a band-aid solution. If we don't replace the junk in our lives with something that gives us hope, and that's why I'm asking these two questions. What does it mean to have life breathed into you? And then what does it mean for you to breathe life into others? And so we're going to continue to journey on this YouTube channel called Rua Breath of Life and we're going to find out what it means to make this world a better place and by doing that you know we just become friends we start doing little things like baking and making sandwiches and taking these things out and giving them to people who are homeless when funding starts to come in I'd like to get sleeping bags there's a jacket that turns into a sleeping bag man that'd be awesome to have right now to hand those out but the weather's changing it's getting warmer and in the meantime stay tuned and subscribe and like some videos I do some crazy funny stuff too but then I get serious as well I believe that the big guy upstairs has breathed life into me and so I'm doing what I can now to breathe life into others and in the meantime while I'm waiting for a job I'm asking you you know if you want to help out like my friend I met this morning his name's Jamie he needs glasses and contacts I wish I could buy him some well you can support me and then I'll make a video and I'll take him to Lens Crafters or whatever it is. We'll go get him some glasses and then we'll put that online so you can see that your donation helped Jamie out. You know, and that's what we want to do. The more that you support what's happening with Ruah Nation, then the more that you'll be able to see where your dollar goes. I'll be the hands and feet. I'll go downtown. I'll go to the homeless people. I'll go to the parks. I'll meet people, talk to them, hand stuff out. You support it. And uh, together, you know, we can make the world a better place. And until next time, uh, I'm coming back Sunday to do these interviews, and I'll see you then, and we'll see what their stories are. God love you. God bless you. Because really, when you think about it, what are you going to do? If you can't begin to make a difference in somebody's life right now, what makes you think you're going to be able to make a difference in someone's life later? Because I know I used to say, when I have a better job, when I have more money, this and this, you come up with all these, <coughs> you come up with all these excuses and that's all they are. And I don't want to go to my grave with excuses. I want to make a difference with what I got, where I'm at. You know, it's like, if you really believe that saying that, you know, you are placed where you are in a specific 
point in history with the gifts and skills and talents that you have because you are to make a difference in that spot. So do it, my friends. Just go out and do it and no more excuses, you know. Just, just do it. Because there, it says that in that movie, uh, what was that movie, Braveheart? Uh, let's see. It's when he does his freedom speech and he's like, the guy says, no, we're gonna run away and we're gonna live. And he says, I run and you may live. And dying in your beds many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that for one chance, just one chance to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. It's so funny, right? Because we live in a world full of fear. And the thing is, if we continue to live in fear, we're not gonna do anything, you know? It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> there's my brave heart, right? I, William Wallace, I've heard he kills enemies by the hundreds. Bolts of lightning fly from his arse. And if he were here right now, he'd tell the English to take a flying leap. I am William Wallace, and I'm standing here in defiance of tyranny. You know what? I challenge you to stand in defiance and tyranny. Don't let what other people say, like especially with homeless people. They're real people. They got real stories. They want to get jobs. The guys I talked to today were handing out resumes, but instead they sleep outside at night unless they can get a bed at the mission or some other ministry. And you know what? They're looking for a break. They're looking for love. They're looking for connection. They're human beings. And you know what? As much as I like to smile and be happy and joyful, 99% of the time I am. But then there are times when my heart just breaks because this world sucks sometimes. And when you're all alone out on the streets, you really understand that. So until next time, you know what? Consider how you can make a difference in this world. Make it a better place. This is Ruah Nation. <sighs> Ruah, breath of life. The breath of God breathes life into you. Your family breathes life into you. Your friends, your job, your community group, your support, your sports teams, your painting, your singing, your golfing, your whatever you do breathes life into you. But are you breathing life into other people? I ask you that again. Are you breathing life into other people? Because if you're not, why not? Maybe it's your family that needs a little breath of life. <sighs> Speak life into them. Speak words that build people up. You know what? The world changes by you loving one person at a time, one moment at a time. And Mother Teresa said, love the person that you see right now with your eyes. Love them. So I love you guys.